a you know, wonderful Monday afternoon. It's about well, almost two o'clock on Monday afternoon. Uh, we are live from Tucson, Arizona. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday. Yeah, Monday afternoon. Uh, so uh, let's see here. This afternoon, you know what? Let's make some. I feel like Ethiopia. Okay, I just thought out. Okay, uh, Ethiopia Yegeche from Good Brothers Coffee. So this one is a naturally processed. Uh, roasted on September 3rd, but uh, I uh, I printed a uh, freezer on I believe that on September 5th or 6th. So when I got it, and I I just right away I just freeze under my deep freezer. So you should be good. Okay, you should be good to go. Looking forward to trying it out here. So tasting notes: uh, strawberry, lemon, and papaya. Okay, so we are going to. Brew with a, a quick meal here, Vitrano dual boiler. Let's see here. So this is like, uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, welcome to my coffee cave. Okay, I think I think I, I like the name coffee cave. I think I was, I mean, deciding like coffee dungeon perhaps, not a studio. Okay, this is definitely not a studio. I'm more like cave. And then what my plan is, I'm planning on. You know what? Maybe I'm planning on. I don't want to paint the wall here, but maybe like black cloth over it. Just makes it a little darker here. Yeah, it'd be fun. I think I might do that sometime this week. Okay, so let's start dialing some coffee beans and let's go from there. Okay, it's, I'm really looking forward to trying this coffee up there. I love the sound of your strawberry. Goodness. So let's find out. So I already single dose out the uh, 18 gram here. So comes the grinder setting. Ah, uh, you know what? I set a number 10. If not, we're gonna dial it in again. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in here. Smell is wonderful. Okay, by the way, smell is great. I'm just gonna heat up my shower screen as well. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty flat today. Okay. Hopefully, this coffee will wake me up. All right. I got 18 gram. Uh, if you have DF64, I'm using the grinder size number 10. Okay. We're gonna do WDT. There's some distribution here. So this uh, afternoon, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. Okay. So this is a temper from Brewster Hustle. Okay. Here's pretty good, uh, 58.5 millimeter. Very clean edge there, yeah. I mean, this is like the sneaky good, okay. Put the shower screen on the top. So I'm set at my temperature at 205. So let's find, uh, let's get going, okay. We just, I'm just gonna use a spouted. So let's dial it in. I think we are ready. I think we are good to go there. I'm gonna my the timer. I'm just gonna do the about five or six second pre infusion. Soak the puck. Yeah, let's wait the ten seconds. There you go.
Give it 20 seconds on the since we do pre-infusion there. We are at about 15 seconds. 18 gram in. I'm uh, let's try to shoot for let me 36 gram to 36 to 40 gram. Okay, 36, 32 seconds. Hmm. The slightly over extracted, possibly. So maybe next shot, we can actually change the grinder setting a little uh, coarser, okay? So let's try this shot and then let's find out. Yeah, right now we are at number 10. Okay, so let's give it a try. So this shot is going to be tell us a lot okay, about the shot. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, welcome to our daily, okay, daily live streaming. And uh, so this morning was pretty interesting, okay. Uh, we did a uh, uh, deep cleaning on my Bravo Booster Pro, the built-in grinder there. As you saw, I believe the it's called a grinder, grinder slider, I think, okay. So that's the uh, that's the the piece that you know pushes the uh, coffee through the chute. So as you saw this morning, if you guys missed it, if you guys are curious, make sure to watch the uh, video. But the, all the teeth are broke out. That's why it's it's not give you the yeah it's not uh, come out nicely. Okay, let, uh, let's put it that way. So I think uh, I ordered three of those. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna big shout out to Brian, and he actually helped me find it as well. But smells pretty good. Hold on, second here. Hold on a second here. Oh, by the way, make sure to press like on the video, okay? Come on, guys. Okay, uh, yeah, Brian, yeah, that's right. Uh, it's called Grind Fan Assembly, okay? Grind Fan Assembly. The cost is about $4, but the shipping cost is quite a bit. So just make sure if you're going get, to get one, just get a couple. Cheers. I can definitely smell the Goodness, I don't want this. It's very fruity though. Okay. Let's see. Again, strawberry, lemon, and papaya. Okay. Let's try that one more time here. Definitely, you got, we're going to put another shot, guys. I think slightly bitter. Okay. Slightly bitter taste. What else? So right now we are grinder setting at number 10. Let's try to maybe grinder setting number 12 maybe. Okay, let's change number 12. And then comes to... And hold on. Jordan, uh, if you are... Don't worry about the 50 second, okay? I didn't stop the shot there. So yeah, don't worry about that. Okay, so... So I'm going to change the 10. And then let's see what else. What what else I'm gonna do? Uh, comes to temperature right now. I set a hold on. I think I set a two. I, I set it around two of eight. You know what? I, I'm going to change to maybe like two. You know what? Uh, let's stay the same. Okay, let's stay the same. Yeah, let's do that. Let's stay the same. I'm gonna change my grinder size. Uh, uh, let's put another one. Let's put another shot here. I mean, there's no shortcut for this. Comes to the dialing and process. I mean, the goal is you want to do less as possible because, again, if you are using it a very expensive coffee beans, I mean, you want to dial it in, you know, ideally, you know, second try or second or third at the most. You know what? Get a puck screen, guys. Okay, I'm going to put the link down below. This is great. I mean, this is pretty good. You're going to have a clean puck every time. Dry puck. I think it's definitely worth the money. But if you're looking for, you're going to get a better shot. No, you're not going to get a better shot. I mean, if someone say they got a better shot with the puck screen, let me know. I'd love to hear your point of view. 
you know, I mean, coffee tastes the same. Okay, I'm just gonna lock it in for now. I got another 18 gram ready to go. Speaking of a grinder, okay, so this morning I have to dismantle the DF64 this morning as well. Uh, definitely, you gotta do at least once a month. If you're using the darker roast coffee, yeah, just make sure to clean out at least every other week. Highly recommend it. Okay, I'm just gonna change my grinder setting to maybe like uh, 12. Let's go 13. Pretty dry, okay. Not that dry, but fluffy. Yeah, copy pucks are pretty fluffy there. Okay, so here we go, guys. Yeah, I'm just gonna. If you guys are planning on buying a new coffee machine, I highly recommend a Rory pump, okay, over vibrator pump. Man, they're so quiet. And also you can change the pump pressure so much easier than any other machine. Unless if you buy decent espresso. This could go nice and easy. And if you guys want to, okay, uh, actually, if you have a 3D print at home, friends, uh, go to Thingiverse, you can actually print out all, so this is a coffee rake. Look at that, guys. Just like you're doing the landscaping at home. You have manicure your backyard like this. Big shout out to John, okay. And now you have a perfectly, at this point, you don't even need to do uh, distribution but we're gonna do it anyway, just for fun. Priest was there, I'm just gonna use my Priest Hustle temper. Okay, put the screen on the top. All right, let's do another shot there. Here we go. All right, so again, 18 gram in, so about 36 to 36 gram. Hold on a second, maybe, you know what, let's go a little longer. Okay, maybe, uh, maybe 42 gram, okay. Let's try it for 42 gram. I'm just gonna do some little bit of pre-infusion right now. Let's do about 10 seconds. Pull the shot. Okay. Shot looks really good there. Very nice and thick. Let's like 42. Okay, why not? I'm at 25 seconds. Okay, I'm at 25 seconds. With the pre-infusion, you are looking about 35. Yeah, looks really nice. So this is the Ethiopia, naturally processed. Okay, hopefully it's gonna be better than last one for sure, okay. Definitely, definitely a whole lot better than the last one for sure. 
Man, I can smell even more. Wow. Again, this is the uh, uh, Ethiopia uh, bro uh, coffee from Good Brothers Coffee here. Big shout out to Brent. Cheers. Okay, smells really good. Okay, it's a lot better than the last one. But you know what? I mean, so since I had a really great coffee from Onyx the other day, you know, I think it lasts what? Saturday? Yeah. Onyx one, Las La House. I, th I think, yeah, I, th I have to say, Onyx does a fantastic job with those lighter roast. Don't get, me, don't get me wrong. I mean, good, the print does a pretty good job. Okay. Yeah. But it's good. But I have to say, yeah, Brent, if you are listening, watching, okay, I, th I think it can do better. Okay, I think it can do better. So this is good, but I think I've been spoiled by Onyx there. Okay. Yeah. But here's a big but though. The Onyx serves for what? Uh, is that 12 ounce? Is that 10 ounce or 12 ounce for like 20 some dollars? Okay, I know Linda's watching. I think Linda paid what? $24 for like 10 ounce uh, coffee. So it all depends. Uh, comes to coffee, it's not what you, it's not what, uh, it's not what you pay for what you get. It's more for the, I mean, what kind of roasters they have. I mean, I mean, most people, you know, 10 ounce. Yeah, Linda is a 10 ounce for like 20 some dollars. It's pretty pricey. But it all depends on the, what kind of roaster you go to. Uh, I mean, if you go to like 90, 99% of a coffee shop you go to, they have their own blend. Okay, they have one, their own blend for their espresso or lighter roast. You know, there is their specialty. And then uh, like coffee roaster, roaster like Onyx, I think Onyx, uh, top of my head there, even Ona coffee from Australia, like Ona or let's say, I mean, if I'm missing some uh, uh, other roasters, let me know, okay, I definitely I'm going to try it out, the other roasters, uh, because, I mean, because I, once you start drinking good coffee with good machines, I mean, you are going to discover the different flavor, the different flavor notes, okay? It's, it's fun. I go once once you start doing that again. Obviously, you guys are watching us right now, watching me, which means coffee is your hobby for you. Definitely, coffee is your hobby, and uh, I highly recommend. Uh, Justin say, yeah, Geisha. Okay, you know what? I need to try Geisha. I know you guys are talking about it for a long time. I did try Geisha from uh, Brent, uh, Brent um, from Good Brothers. He got some small batch of Geisha from Sweet Maria. But it's not the same, okay? I know Justin's been uh, trying a lot of geisha in Canada, so yeah, definitely, definitely, I'm gonna try some geisha pretty, uh, pretty soon. But uh, my family, okay, my uh, wife and kids, they drink just a medium to dark roast, okay? I mean, the Brent does fantastic job. You know, you know, Good Brothers does amazing job. Comes to milk based drink, they're awesome. But comes to lighter roast, highly recommend try uh, different roasters out there. Trying to find, you know, find, you know, find your kind of like flavor, I guess. Okay. And let's see, the Richard said, the Richard from uh, France is still looking for a good roaster in France. Okay. Man, the France is not, French is not known for coffees, right? I wonder, Richard. Yeah, because I know Italy is known for coffee. But yeah, I know Australia is big on coffee over there. And then uh, obviously Korea or Japan, yeah, they're huge on coffee. But yeah, I'm not, but Mexico, uh, I know Mexico is pretty big too. But yeah, I don't know about France. I know they are, I know you guys have great wine. Okay, great wine. Anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Okay, welcome to the channel. Make sure press like, guys. Okay, it's only... It's only 26 of you watching. Usually, I usually get about maybe like 50 or 60, but I don't know. It's, it's a weird day today, okay? Weird day, okay? So, anyway, uh, what else? 
So this week, man, we got nothing going on, guys. Nothing going on here in uh, this channel. So I, I definitely do some remodeling in my office, for sure. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram. By the way, if you haven't followed, so I talk with a cat, okay, coffee cat. So if you haven't followed uh, Catherine's uh, YouTube channel, make sure to do so. I think she's at like 650 subscribers. You know what, let's bring it up to 1,000, okay? If you are watching, make sure to uh, uh, subscribe uh, Cat's channel, Coffee Cat. She's great. I think she's, I think she's really passionate about coffee and I know she wants to be a, I mean, she's really good, okay? I have to say, make sure to check out her channel. And what else? Uh, let's see. Uh, follow me on Instagram. And then Brian mentioned about, the, you know what, this week is pretty good for dimmer. Mod, yeah, that's a good project. Okay, definitely a good project for us. Yeah, I mean, it's something different. Okay, it's something different there. Definitely. But, uh, Brian, I need to uh, replace the, the blade. Okay, the, what's that color again? Uh, the grind. Man, I, I forgot the name again. So I have to replace that this week as well. By the way, if you haven't deep clean on your Bra uh, Bravo Brista Express or Pro, Deep clean, okay, not, not to just vacuum out, just make sure to do so. Especially if you are uh, using darker roast, highly recommend it, okay. Because with the darker roast, I mean, yeah, grind fan assembly, grind fan assembly. So that's why we're going to do that next few days. Uh, if you have DF64 at home, at least clean out the inner, uh, I mean, make sure clean inside, at least, least once a month, okay. I mean, this morning I got totally clogged. So I have to dismantle the entire grinder to clean everything out. So just make sure uh, clean it properly. Okay. All right. Dogman say. Uh, but is the on? Okay. So it's, Brian, I think my uh, Brista Express is also messed up too. Okay. Because it takes too long to grind. So I I, I bet you that helps. Uh, once I replace it, I, I wonder it's gonna help. Okay, what else? I think we are pretty good. I think, uh, you know what, I'm gonna, since this is early right now, I'm gonna jump into Instagram. And, uh, you know, we can uh, chit chat some more. And if not, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow morning.